I'm here with England batsman, Vice Captain Joe Root. Thanks for doing this, mate, for the Barmy Army. No worries, mate. Very kind. You had a good Christmas? Very good, thank you. Brilliant, brilliant. So this is a Barmy Army exclusive interview with Joe Root, the first one. Um, first of all, earliest Ashes memory as a kid. Do you remember it? Uh, well, I think one that sticks out in my mind the most is probably a Boxing Day Test match, actually. Uh, having nice. a Christmas dinner and Christmas Day and then trying to stay awake and watch the, watch the cricket. I think it, I lasted till about lunch and then <laughs> passed out as an eight-year-old, but of I was just absorbed in the whole theatre of it and uh, yeah, since then I've always wanted to be a part of it. Brilliant, brilliant. Do you remember seeing the Barmy Army back, back then? Yeah, always, always there loud and proud, um, you know, singing along and, and backing the boys up, which is, is always Fantastic. great to see. Brilliant. So your first Ashes away trip, how did you find the atmosphere? The atmosphere was incredible, um, uh, especially that first first game at Brisbane, we, uh, you, you get there and the ground, it just like echoes off, off mm. the stadium, it all just sort of stays within the, the, the yeah. cont uh, confines of the ground and uh, it's, it's just so loud and um, it's, it was something that I've not really experienced before and it's obviously quite hostile as well, yeah. the majority of it being passionate Australian fans making yeah. sure that you you know that they're there, so it was it was an amazing experience and hopefully I have some better memories next time we go. Brilliant. So it's nice to be backed up with the Barmy Army when you've got hostile Aussies. Yeah, and throughout that whole trip, really, um, you know, the Barmy Army were exceptional. We didn't play anywhere near as, as well as we should have and, and probably could have. and um, It didn't really matter to, to the Barmy Army. They were there through thick and thin. And, um, you know, they were as loud, as loud in that last day at, at Sydney as they were on the first day in, yeah. in Brisbane. So, you know, that, that's um, you know, credit to, to the guys out there because yeah. they, they always make a huge difference to us on the field. Yeah, I know you know quite a few of the guys, a lot of the guys do do a full tour, a lot of the guys will be watching this do a full tour and you know they support you and how do you find getting on with the Barmy Army, you see a good relationship between players and fans? Definitely, um, it's always nice to see familiar faces, always nice to see new faces and meet new people as well and um, very very lucky that you know some of the people, you, you do make some good friends along the way throughout the Barmy Army and uh, it's always nice to see them enjoying themselves, enjoying the tour and um, obviously we, we're there to play cricket and get results and Ideally, they're, they're enjoying it for that as well as the experience of being where they are in the world. Exactly, exactly. So, obviously, the last um, Boxing Day Test match, uh, your dad was there, your brother was there, your mother was there. That must be a career highlight for you, is it? Apart from the actual cricket, yeah. Yeah, well. um, the, To play in a, you know, play in the MCG in a Boxing Day Test was, mm -hmm. again, it's it's something that you dream of doing. As I said, that was one of my first memories of Ashes cricket. Was waking up and or st staying awake and watching that and. To be a part of that, and, and 90, I think it was 95, 96,000 yeah. people in the ground, so it was an incredible atmosphere. So, Joe, can you guess who public enemy number one is for the Barmy Army? We've had Mitchell Johnson, Michael Clark, Ricky Ponting. Can you guess who this still who it might be? No idea. No, no idea. idea. No idea. We'll leave it. We'll leave it walking I'll, about I'll all over the place. I'll leave that with you boys, uh, to sort out, you boys and girls to sort out. I'm sure that you'll find a, a suitable candidate. Brilliant. I'm sure we will just do that, mate. And last of all, are you excited for the tour? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, obviously, got a lot of cricket. Busy schedule play. before. Yeah, busy schedule before. Hopefully, that all goes well and we play some good cricket and then we can get stuck into another Feisty Ashes series. I'm sure it'll be very entertaining. We've got two sort of up and coming sides that have got a lot to prove so, in world cricket. So, it should be a really good contest and hopefully, yep. it's one that um, you know, we're on the right side of. Yep, sure. And finally, looking forward to being a dad. I am looking forward to being dad. Not long now, so not long. Yeah, hopefully by then he'll be. Well, he'll probably be out one, so just under one, so he'll be out with he'll the army. He'll be out in the army. I'm sure you will uh, got to look after him, guys, haven't we? Look after him and, and make him feel part of the army family. Exactly. So. Cheers, Chris. Thanks a lot, Thanks, buddy. Mate. Cheers. Cheers, mate.